launched nuclear-capable ballistic missile Agni-5 from the Wheeler Island off the Odisha coast today. It's the fourth developmental and second canisterized trial of the long-range missile. While the first test was conducted on April the 19, 2012, the second test was carried out on September 15, 2013, and the third on January 31, 2015 from the same base. While Agni-5 is the most advanced, having some new technologies incorporated with it in terms of navigation and guidance, warhead as well as engine designed to carry over one ton warhead. Well, let's uh, get in further details from Ashish Singh, who is joining us live uh, at this point. Assistant Editor Ashish Singh, over to you. Take us to the details. A big day for, uh, for, for India's uh, uh, MISA. Well, uh, we, uh, uh, we are just going to uh, connect with uh, uh, Ashish once again. This, of course, is a big day for India, as we've been saying. In fact, I'm being told Ashish, uh, Ashish Singh, our assistant editor, is now live with us. Ashish, take us to the details. It's a big day uh, for India as it's successfully indigenously uh, tested this missile again today. That's right, uh, Uday, and uh, it certainly is a big day for uh, India, and not only for DRDO, but for uh, all the three services, uh, because uh, Agni-5 is going to work as uh, one of the biggest deterrents for India, not only against Pakistan, but also against uh, China. Let's first understand what does Agni-5 missile uh, mean for uh, India. Uh, this is one basic graphic. Uh, with the help of this graphic, we'll explain to our viewers that uh, in terms of range and the uh, nuclear ca uh, warhead uh, carrying capacity, what does Agni-5 mean for the country? For example, Agni-2. There are, there are various uh, uh, variants of uh, Agni missile, and Agni-2 is uh, with a range of around 2,000 kilometers uh, operational range, but India did not stop there. The DRDO went ahead and continued with the development and uh, uh, developed Agni-3, uh, third version of Agni missile, which has uh, the range of around 3,500 kilometer. Uh, there was uh, Agni 5's second test that, test that was done in uh, January, and there you see Agni 5, 5,000. In fact, this uh, range can be increased up to five and half to 6,000 kilometers as well. And this is something which has been tested successfully today. Today, what was done was the fourth and the final uh, test as far as the Agni 5 missile is concerned. We are going to witness the final test of Agni 4 as well in a couple of uh, weeks from now. But let's listen to, uh, uh, before we uh, speak to our uh, guest, he is the uh, uh, scientific advisor and also uh, one of the former uh, spokesperson of the uh, uh, DRDO, uh, Dr. Gupta. But let's listen to first uh, reactions, what uh, the expert have to say on Agni 5's uh, test today. This will be a great value addition to India's defense capabilities. The Agni series of missiles, particularly Agni 5, is being developed keeping China's threat in view. Because for Pakistan, we already have enough missiles which can cover Pakistan range-wise. But the range of Agni 5, which is 5,000 kilometers, we can reach even the north northernmost portions of China. So it will be a great deterrence against China for them to do any mischief. You have to be capable enough to threaten somebody. You may not use them, but uh, you should always be prepared to use them so that nobody dare uh, take any action which is contrary to the interest of our uh, nation. In the committee of nations, uh, our status will definitely many, many fold uh, on top now. So we have with us uh, uh, scientists and a former spokesperson of the Defense Research and Development Organization, Dr. Ravi Gupta. Dr. Gupta, thank you for speaking to NewsX. My first question to you, uh, there are several missiles, uh, right, from Agni, Prithvi, Trishul, Nag. But for the benefit of our viewers, for common man, what does Agni 5's test mean for the uh, citizens of this country? Well, Agni-5, for our country, it is our bold statement of strength and technology for peace. I would like to emphasize on peace because India has never crossed those boundaries in the history. India has been a peaceful nation and we have all the right to defend ourselves. 
This is one missile which fulfills our deterrent requirements. We don't want a Hiroshima to be repeated on us. And for that, it is important that we have a capability to retaliate. We have a declared no-use policy, and Agni-5 fulfills that required deterrence. Okay. Dr. Gupta, how do you see, as far as uh, uh, the, uh, uh, the fifth variant of Agni missile is concerned, there have been several variants. Uh, I'm told Agni 4's final uh, variant would be uh, tested uh, in a week or two from now. But as far as the uh, deterrent power is concerned, uh, this is something that is going to bring uh, China into our range. Is this something what uh, with the purpose with which uh, the DRDO developed it? As you know, the Agni 5 has a range which is in excess of 5,000 kilometers. With this range, which covers whatever deterrent is required to be covered. We are not against any specific country. We never say that certain, certain country is our enemy. But by possessing this technology, this capability, we deter any country which may like to uh, threaten us with nuclear weapons. So any country will think a million times when we have Agni 5 before deciding to be mischievous as far as the nuclear weapons are concerned. Agni 5, as you know, it is not only a, a, a symbol of military might, it is also a symbol of technological might. All its components, all its systems and subsystems, they have been indigenously evolved, painstakingly against the blockades, technological and commercial blockades against India. Well, certainly a very uh, valid point. Uh, at this time, we have just received a quote from the uh, Director General of uh, Missiles, uh, Dr. G. Satish Reddy. He is also the scientific advisor to uh, country's uh, defense minister. Uh, Dr. G. Satish Reddy, I quote him, it is a landmark achievement and a major boost to our indigenous missile capabilities. These are the words coming from the Director General of Missiles, Dr. G. Satish Reddy. Remember, he is also the scientific advisor to uh, Defense Minister Manohar Parker. He is someone who has played an extremely crucial role as far as uh, developing all these missiles are concerned. Uh, one of the uh, renowned scientists, uh, missile scientists, I would say, of our uh, country. Uh, Dr. Gupta, coming back to you, certainly it's a uh, uh, landmark achievement, add, uh, as uh, Dr. Uh, G. Shatish Reddy told us. Uh, but Agni variant is something which has certainly created, uh, given India a huge platform. Would this mean, uh, as far as the technological uh, uh, leap is concerned, that India has now developed uh, a technology, an indigenous technology, which will help us develop further uh, missiles with uh, much bigger nuclear warhead carrying, carrying capacity and with a the much bigger nuclear warhead carrying, carrying capacity and with a lo longer range. Well, <coughs> in the process of developing Agni 5 and proving the technologies with these four uh, successful tests, we have achieved all the technological inputs required for developing any kind of missile as far as the strategic missiles are concerned. So today, technologically, we are capable of making any missile of any size and range. OK. And how about uh, Agni Force, sir? I'm told the Agni Force uh, final test would be conducted in a week or two from now. I understand generally uh, DRDO uh, keeping, it, uh, keeping the strategic aspects in mind does not reveal these dates and the uh, exact capacity and uh, uh, what is doing as far as the tests are concerned. Uh, let, let's understand as far as the Agni 5 is concerned uh, with the help of uh, a set of graphics that what does it basically mean for our country and what are the characteristics of uh, Agni 5. As I mentioned today, it's certainly a crucial uh, day for India. So these are the uh, main characteristics of uh, Agni 5 missile which conducted uh, uh, the uh, final, the fourth and the final test. Uh, its length is around 17.5 meters and uh, its uh, weight is around uh, uh, the cost of this Agni 5 missile was around 50 crore rupees. Uh, certainly, each of these missiles cost uh, 50 crore rupees. Uh, the, the test that was conducted today was the uh, canisterized version that basically, obviously, without the, any explosive or any uh, uh, nuclear uh, uh, warheads, it, it has a range of in excess of 5,000 kilometers, and the weight of Agni 5 missile is approximately 50 kg. It, and certainly, no need to mention that it has the capacity to carry the nuclear warheads as well. Uh, Dr. Gupta, well, uh, last question to you. Uh, as far as uh, the India's uh, deterrence power is concerned, 
Uh, we just uh, uh, got to know from the Prime Minister's office sources a couple of months ago that Arihant has been inducted in uh, Indian Navy. Now Agni 5 being, uh, uh, will be uh, commissioned uh, in the, the uh, services. How long will it take for the uh, Indian government or the DRDO to declare it fully ready and to be uh, handed over to the services? I would not like to comment on the, uh, the process as, as such and give any date. Okay. But I would like to emphasize that these four tests and in case uh, for that matter any uh, whenever we are developing this kind of missile, the users are uh, associated with the test and development process right from the beginning. So unlike uh, small tactical weapons where you have first developed it and prove it and then the process of induction begins, uh, this is an ongoing process. So I can say that it will not be uh, a too long a time before we can see this in the arsenal of India. Right. Okay. Thank you so much, uh, Dr. Gupta. So there you heard certainly a crucial day for our country, Agni 5's fourth and final successful test. Congratulations to the uh, DRDO team and uh, all the service personnel who had uh, played an active role in this. Uh, over to you there. Absolutely. Well, thank you indeed, uh, Ashish, uh, for taking us through those details. And of course, uh, Ravi Gupta for joining us with that perspective. Thank you as well.